on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's five some news, babe. I take five five down. Something news popped up on the Steam DB page for FS22. Wilker Farms has been removed from the mod hub. EY Modding's bringing back his Massey Ferguson sprayer. KRKZ Modding's letting you pick his next mod. Pepe 978's Ivy Code truck is coming back. Also FS has their Case IH header in the game. Edgewater Saskatchewan maps got some more updates. Dutch Monaco have a new sell point. Campaign of Farms doing whatever this is. And Oxygen David made some really big rats. Let's check it out. At the time of recording this video, there's been no update to the testing list. However, I will leave a link to that in the description below so you guys can check it out throughout the day. The SteamDB page for FS22 received a new addition today, showing an update to app 206460 as of two days ago, but showing up just today, unfortunately. This is a page that lists all the DLCs and expansions for the game. The interesting thing is we've already got all of the known unreleased DLCs on the list. Pumps and hoses, Vermeer, Platinum, it's all there. So the question is, what could this be? Currently, we have no way of knowing, but I did find it interesting, and I wanted to let you know something new is on the horizon for FS22. Wilker Farms has been removed from the mod hub due to a few issues. Yesterday, it was found that if you went into the Vince's menu, the game would just bug out. However, it was decided to keep the map on the mod hub at that point as it was not game breaking. However, overnight, it was removed from the mod hub. I know there was a problem with the waterfall of the second farm and that uh, when having the map downloaded, it would prevent other game saves from loading depending on what mods you had installed. So that's likely one of the larger reasons why it was removed. There's been no word from Mapper's Paradise at the current status of the map, at least at the time of recording, uh, or when we could even see it on the mod hub again, but I will keep you guys in the loop. Right now, I'm sure you're curious if you've got the mod or the map installed, what should you do? Well, if you're not having any issues, then just have some fun with it and enjoy yourself. But if you are experiencing any loading issues or any problems with the map itself, you may want to delete it just to be on the safe side. But don't worry, I'll let you guys know when we'll be getting it back. EY Mining shows off his Massey Ferguson 185 sprayer today, saying that it has been submitted for testing for all platforms. This was a mod that we had back in Farming Simulator 19 as well for all platforms, and it was quite popular, 4.2 star rating with 212 votes. It's got a 75 horsepower engine, travels at 18 miles per hour, get a 4,000 liter tank with a 20 meter working width at 7 miles per hour. As mentioned, mod is currently wood giants waiting testing for all platforms. We could see it on the list as early as tomorrow. Oh, and just a reminder, it's not missing the front wheels as this is an entire machine. It's all one piece. It's an articulated sprayer at the end of the day, not a tractor pulling a sprayer, which yes, I know that's what it looks like. Don't worry, EY Modding didn't forget the wheels. Now does Massey Ferguson 5700S 2020 update is out, KRKZ Modding says the next piece to add to the mod was going to be up to you. He's either going to be adding the 6700S or the 7700S to the pack, making it the Massey X700S pack, basically? Yeah. The only question is, which one would you like to see first? He does already have the 7700 Dyna 6VT out, so maybe a 6700S would be cool to see first. But hey, what do I know? Let me know what you think down below, or check out KRKZ modding and tell him directly. Pepe 978's bringing back his Ivy Co. 19048 Turbo Star flatbed truck, long name, designed for bells and pallets and things like that in the game. This is another mod that we had in Farming Simulator 19 with a 4.3 star rating at 2,696 votes. By the look of it, we're gonna be getting the same customization with this version as well, which is really nice. It's gonna cost you 95 grand, it's got 480 horsepower, plenty to get around all the streets of your favorite maps. You also have different configurations for colors, spoilers, sun visor, transport version, and something we haven't seen here, but possibly capacities between 15,000 and 30,000, if it holds true to the FS19 version, that is. Yesterday, we talked about a new header coming from Hulse FS to go along with the Case IH 7150 Rice version, and today, we get to see it in the game. We don't have any specs on it yet, but it looks to be around like 9 to 11 meters, somewhere around there, which I think is perfect for the 7150. I think the one in game that we've got, maybe a little bit small for what it is. He says that there's just a few tweaks to go and then it's off for testing for all platforms. We don't know if it's going to be an update to the 7150 Rice version Combine Harvester or as a separate mod, but I'm sure we're going to know soon enough. Rooster Mods has submitted their International 55 Chisel Plow for testing for all platforms in the hopes of adding more old school red tillage for all players of FS22. 
Also credited on the mod is JCL's farm equipment for help with the decals and the rims. The mod appears to be available in a few different variations, at least two or three, and I'm sure a lot of red fans out there are going to love this one. South Sask Modding brings us an update today on the Edgewater Saskatchewan map, saying that the cows are now working on the map and that all three grain complexes have been redone with BC Bueller's Meridian Pack, which fixed the i3D file size errors with the previous pack. And lastly, the valley has been completely redone on the map. Another road has been added, they've added a few acreages, and expanded the size of the river. They've done much more work to this map, and it's nice to see that they're taking their time and doing it all right. I have a feeling that this is going to be one of the most popular North American maps on the mod up once it is here, which, by the way, we don't know when that's going to be because the map is still being worked on. But don't worry, I'll let you guys know once we know more. Dutch Modding Co. has another mod ready to go for Giants, the General Production Cell Point, which is going through its final stages before being sent off for testing for all platforms. This is a general sell point where you can sell any product from your factories, even from factories that are on the mod hub. However, we don't know which ones are going to be supported, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Campaign of Farm Modding is working on something new, saying that they've started a new project. Now, just by looking at this, I have no idea what's going on here. Sometimes I can get a little idea of something with some context clues or maybe going off of what the modder's done before, but nope, nothing here. Do you know what's going on? I'm sure we'll find out soon, but man, I have no idea. And lastly today, Oxygen David has managed to make some massive rats. Seriously, he says that he was thinking about adding some new animals to the game, so he started by making his own animal 3D models and learned how to rig and animate them to bring them into the game and add some variety to what we've already got. And it looks like the first tests were maybe a little bit more horrific than he was planning as he basically made giant ground munching rats, he says. Of course, this is just a test and we're not going to have massive rats pouncing around eating your chickens, but it is cool to see that he's trying some new things. He says that he's confident that he could bring lots of new animals into the game, into his map court farms, and maybe others as well. And oh yeah, it's compatible with consoles too, so get ready. And this segue to the outro is also compatible with self-awareness. Being aware of yourself and your surroundings is very important, especially with giant ground munching rats running around. What isn't running around, however, is the time that it takes for me to say that just like every episode of Farms and News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mods is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, well, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and some things you need to know about as well going on the world of farming simulator well guys that's gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new join the gohan fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel with that hope you have a great day we will see you later So today is haircut day. Do I get the beard shaved or not? Hmm.